Hey guys, here we go. Okay, so I used that photo that you just saw, which was a uh, photo group, color group, I guess, from Pinterest to um, kind of base the design of this tag on. And so I picked Distress Ink. I wanted to play with my Distress Ink. It had been a while. So I picked Faded Jeans, Peacock Feathers, Stormy Sky, Pumice Stone, Seedless Preserves, and... Uh, crushed olive. Those are the colors I des I decided to go with. So um, I used all of the blues to kind of create this really pretty gradient in the background. And uh, this is a Manila tag. It's just a regular office tag. I believe it's a number eight. Don't quote me. Um, as you know, I'm not very good about knowing exactly what products I'm using, but. So I laid down a, a base of Distress Ink and then flicked some water on it to create some water spots. And that left me with this. Then I used uh, Peacock Feathers to stamp that scripty stamp with onto the background. And then I sprayed just very haphazardly with some uh, homemade Prolex. This is what I'm talking about right here, this Prolex water combo and it's Pearlex pigment which is a uh, pearly shiny pigment with a little bit of water and it um, adheres really well to paper it's not water um, waterproof so be careful and um, I just sprayed that on just to give it some, give it some uh, shiny flex and this is a butterfly wing um, actually it's a half a butterfly so it's a butterfly from on a, on a profile and I stamped it first in Seedless Preserves and then in Archival Ink. I thought the Archival Ink get, gave a better impression of the stamp. So, And then I decided to start coloring it up using the Seedless Preserves right there in the middle. And I'm trying to stay a little bit darker around the edges just to give a little bit of dimension. Just some different colors to this. Um, I wanted to create something that wasn't necessarily true to life. You're not going to see a butterfly with these particular markings but um, I wanted to incorporate all of those colors so I wanted that really pretty green from the crushed olive and the very vibrant purple from the seedless preserves and the peacock feathers which is that really gorgeous teal so I wanted to encapsulate all of those in this one little butterfly and um, I'm just I just pushed my distressing pad right onto my craft sheet and uh, as you can see I'm adding a couple more colors I ended up using shaded lilac to color the center of that purple part of the wing and um, I think I added some more uh, faded jeans around the edge of the blue part of the wings and Finally, I used pumice stone to color up that body of the butterfly just a little bit. So then uh, from there we have, here's our tag, and um, I'm making this tag for a coworker, just so you know what this is going for. Um, I'm cutting out the butterfly right now, by the way. Um, so I'm fussy cutting, hate that phrase, but you know, what can I do about it? So I created this tag for a coworker. She's having a very hard time at work right now, and um, she's new. She's new to our uh, our company. So I thought I would make something for her just to help kind of boost her confidence a little bit. And uh, this was all about you know just kind of spreading your wings. And you know, for me, the butterfly is very symbolistic of you know growth and change. So uh, hence the reason for the butterfly. So this is some Versamark ink which is just a sticky clear ink and I used some clear embossing powder which had some glitter in it. Uh, I don't know the brand of this. I got it from a friend a long time ago in a baggie so I don't know the brand. I know you can create your own embossing powder with glitter if you combine the two. Just a clear embossing powder and some glitter and the embossing, embossing powder will hold that glitter uh, once it melts. So I'm just heat setting that now. And this is a quick video because we're doing a little hop so um, I was told to keep it under 10 minutes so I thought I would do a tag which is a, a good little thing to keep under 10 minutes when you're uh, when you're doing something like this. I'm not very good at keeping my art journal pages under 10 minutes. So this is uh, pumice stone right around the edges of the tag just to darken it up a little bit uh, just to 
focus that eye into the, more into the center of the, the tag. These are some flowers from the lovely Kelly, and um, she, uh, I have not been on her channel in a while, so I don't know if she's updated her channel. I'll have to add a link to her channel, but anyway, she's fabulous. She gave me these, they're Wild Orchid Crafts, and um, they're amazing little flowers. So then I added some Tim Holtz words, and uh, this was a whole phrase uh, that he fries. Uh, this is a whole phrase that uh, he had in one of his sticker packs, and it says, "With brave wings she flies." So again, it was one of those things I wanted to give her an affirmation, something that she could look at. And the pencil I was using was an aqua monolith, and I just went around it, uh, around the edges, and then added water just to kind of fade it out a little bit, diffuse it. Then a little bit of black soot distress ink right around the edges of this tag. This is, a, like I said, a quick tag. So uh, this is some medical gauze, nothing fancy, with a little bit of that homemade green shimmer spray. Dried it, and then I glued everything down using E6000 because it is the best glue in the world. A friend of mine says it will hold everything but a man. So, uh... It's a, it's a very, very, very good glue. So Then I just took some fibers and some different ribbons that I had in my stash that kind of coordinated with the colors on this, and I used my tiny attacher to staple it all together. And then finally, I just added a little lock and put it through the ribbon and stapled it all together. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!